This is January 2010, A21, and this is question four, a question about simple harmonic motion. It's from the new specification, so uh, when you look up the answers, you look up the new specification answers. The acceleration A of a mass executing simple harmonic motion is given by the equation 4.1, and there's 4.1 there, A is equal to minus omega squared x. State clearly what the symbol x symbol symbolizes or represents. So x is a displacement of the particle. From its rest position. And that can of course either have a positive or a negative value. Um, part two, explain the significance of the negative sign in the equation. And the negative sign means that the acceleration is always um, directed towards a fixed point. Now the other option that you could, they would give you a mark there for it saying that acceleration is always in the opposite direction to displacement. Part B, part one, a mass executing simple harmonic motion starts at the extremities um, or the extreme limit of positive displacement. So if you're going to draw a graph, we are talking about a cosine graph <clears throat> at time t equals naught. The magnitude of this displacement is 0 0.06 metres. The mass executes 100 oscillations in 20 seconds. Use these data to obtain values for A and omega in the equation x is equal to A omega cos omega t. And so they've got the cos already there for you. And therefore, if you're talking about it starting the extreme limit and the magnitude of the displacement is 0 0.06, then that's the amplitude. So amplitude is 0 0.06 metres. Um, then omega, omega is uh, 2 pi f, but f is equal to, you're told, 100 oscillations in 20 seconds. So f is equal to 5 hertz. And therefore omega is 2 pi times 5, which gives you 10 pi. And they will accept that as an answer. Or if you multiply that out, you get uh, 31.4 radian seconds to the minus 1. Part two, on the graph in figure 4.1, sketch a graph of the quantity x with time t for the first two cycles of oscillation. Label the axes with appropriate units and, appropriate and numerical values for the oscillation. So they're obviously going to give you marks for that. So first of all, we'll measure out. We know that, um, we know that the mass executes 100 oscillations in 20 seconds and therefore the time period of one oscillation is 1 over f, and that's 1 over 5, we calculated a minute ago, and so that's 0.2 seconds. So if we mark off 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5 there, um, that's your time axis, and that's in seconds. And then the x-axis is in metres. And you know that 0 0.06 metres is the maximum amplitude, so I'm going to put it in there, 0 0.06 um, 0.03 minus 0.03 and minus 0.06 and we know that it takes uh, 0 0.2 seconds for one complete oscillation and so if it starts there then we know it's got its minimum value down here and so on And so if I just, um, it asks you for the first two cycles, so there's one, so I'm just going too far there, one, there's one complete cycle, and then there's the second. So they really only want to point four. You could go on if you wanted, but we're just going to there. Um, and so you're getting a mark for your starting point of 0 0.06, you're getting a mark for marking in the corresponding um, time period of 0 0.2, and you're getting a mark for your graph being a cosine graph. Part 3, explain how the velocity of the mass at any instant of time 
after the start may be determined using an accurate displacement time graph and you can just get the velocity by drawing a tangent and then calculate the gradient of the tangent because velocity is change in displacement over change in time and that's how you get your two marks for that. Calculate the distance and position of the mass relative to the centre of motion 0.13 seconds after the start of the oscillation. And so we know our equation is x is equal to a cos omega t and a is 0.06. Omega we know is 10 pi or 31.4 and we're multiplying by 0.13. And that you have to have your calculator in radians. It gives you a minus number 0.035. And therefore, the displacement is 0 0.035, and its position is in the opposite side from its starting position. If we just have we look at the graph, we know it's 0 0.03, 0 0.13 seconds. And so, if we do, how do we look at the graph? There's 0 0.1, there's 0 0.2, and there's 0 0.3 there. If I just do a dot, so it's just below the minus 0 0.03 there. Um, you would be extrapolating or you'd be drawn across there somewhere to try and get that value if you were doing it accurately in a graph. Our graph isn't accurate enough, unfortunately, but uh, I'm not sure they might allow you <coughs> uh, that shown from the graph. So there's two marks for that and one mark for explaining the position.